what's up guys, this is Forrest Knight and welcome to Ida Journey episode 17. Now today, as promised as last week, I'm not going to be discussing code and whatnot. I'm actually, I've actually started a new series, 100 Days of Code, if you haven't checked that out. You can find more programming stuff over there, an update of my day to day, maybe sometimes day to every other day, uh, coding journey over there. But today, I'm going to kind of recap where I'm at in the course, what I've done in the past week or two, and... I have a big announcement for the video. So, recap, I currently finished up the Dreamlister app. So all of that is done. I went over it in my last 100 Days of Code video. I believe, or I know it was the day 10 video of 100 Days of Code. So that's all done. It's not polished the way I want it to, but it's uh, it got me familiar with core data, uh, creating, modifying, uh, deleting, moving, all that good stuff with core data, you got table view, saving, and uploading data using a form and whatnot. So that was really good. And the next thing in the course is working with REST and web requests with iOS 10 and Swift 3, of course. And within that, we'll be making two applications. One's called Rainy or Shine, Rain or Shine or something like that. And I'm assuming that's a weather app. I've already used JSON data to pull weather information into an application before, but it's been a while, so I'm gonna play along with this. And I'm sure I'll learn and at least refresh things that I've learned before. And another app, we're going to be building a Pokédex app. So I don't know exactly what, I, I understand a Pokédex, what it is, but I don't understand exactly what we'll be making. I don't know if it's just a new Pokédex or we're actually going to have like a collection of Pokémon and whatnot, but I'll be making that after that weather app, the rain or shine one. This is all within the section of web request and working with rest and whatnot. And let's get on to the big announcement. So a friend of mine, he's not a developer, he's just a friend from high school. He came to me with this app idea. <clears throat> now, as you know, I already have two ideas that I wish to pursue on my own. And his is different than those, of course. And I, we're, I'm going with that one. We're going to be working on it together. Of course, I'm going to be doing all, all the programming, but he's going to be trying to do all the business side. So let me explain this a bit. When it comes to building an application, yeah, I'll be doing all of it on my own, but it is better for me to have a partner of some sort than just doing everything on my own, I think, because it'll help me stay motivated. I have someone else, you know, I'm not just accounting to myself, but to him as well. He'll be taking on a lot of the things that I don't really wish to do. Now, I'm more familiar with the app market and the business side of things. No fits, Jack, if you're watching this, but uh, it's the truth. I'm more familiar with that, and I'm more familiar with app development. So you may be wondering, like, why do I need him? Well, one is his idea. Well, yeah, you could just do your own ideas, though. Yeah, but I kind of want to break, you know, have a partner on this. It is his idea, and I, I think it's a good idea. We're going to roll with it. It uh, has to do with the food industry. Can't go into too much detail right now, but you know, I'll be building storyboards and maybe even some mockups and sketch and throw together a, a wireframe or something like that. Uh, to discuss with him and then once I start building it you guys will see what I'm making for the most part without giving away all the details but although I'm more familiar with the business side I've told him what he should research what he should start off doing while I'm doing all the storyboard and stuff I think the work will be more so weighted on my side with app development and I'm definitely more familiar with marketing and things of that nature and I actually like to do that but I'd like to have him do all the business things like if there's anything that needs to be done door to door type deal, uh, he's going to, he's getting the logo created. He's going to go ahead and get all of that trademark, copyright, whatever you need to do with that, the, the application name, all that good stuff. You know, we're just taking it step by step, but that's a big announcement. I'll be starting that officially once I get into a couple sections in the future in my course. Because a couple sections in the future, we I don't I think I'm on section seven right now. This may be section ten. Let's just use that for sake of argument. In section ten, it is creating a social network with Firebase. After we have already learned a bit about Firebase, and this is going to be a social network within the food industry, and I'm going to be using Firebase as the back end. So I'm going to be building mine, my social network app, our social network app, alongside the Udemy social network app, the course that I'm taking, that social network app. So I'll be building them alongside each other. If it works on one, 
it should work on the other. I understand there's things I changed. That's why I'm not building one and then going to use that and modify it to be the, the food industry application. I'm going to build on build two separate ones so I have two separate ones. This one will go on GitHub. Uh, the one, the private one, the one that we plan on turning into a business will not be on GitHub. Sorry. Maybe on GitHub, but it'll be private so you can't see it. But you can see all the uh, Session Network stuff. And that's really the big announcement and what I wanted to go over in this video. Uh, I do have a few questions for anybody watching right now is how do you think me being a programmer, me being in this app space and him kind of just bringing in the idea, but he's also going to be a partner. It's not just like, here, develop this idea for me and I'll give you 50% of the company uh, or I'll give you 30% or I'll give you 70%, whatever it may be. It's not like that. It's kind of like that, but it's not exactly like that. He brought the idea. I know this much about the space and he knows about this much. What would you think would be a proper split? 60-40, 50-50, 80, 20, and, and, and whose favor? So I want to I wanna hear from everybody what you think a proper split would be. I'm going to also be taking some other surveys, uh, maybe on Twitter, maybe on Reddit. I don't know, but I'm going to figure out what other people think. I'll kind of lay out, let, let me, I, I kind of already laid out what the task will be for each person. Like me, I'll be developing it. I'll be doing marketing. I'll be teaching him as much as about the industry as I can, and he'll be trying to do the business side. I know there's a bit too like legal taxes, registering for LLC if that needs to be done or sole proprietorship, well, it won't be that, it'll be partnership. Whatever it may be, he'll be taking care of that because I'd rather not take care of that if I can have faith in him that he will do it. But I'm just gonna roll with this and I'm sure with him and his mindset that he'll be able to pull through on whatever he needs to do. But if not, hate to have a plan B, but I do, I could just go ahead and create my own apps, the two ideas that I did have on my own. So, Jack, if you're watching this, you better get to work or else I'll be going on my own instead of being in a partnership. So, that's it for Item Journey episode 17. Maybe more business talk next week since I'm doing a lot of the programming talk on 100 Days of Code. I don't know yet, we'll see. I'll probably update you with some storyboards or whatever I may have completed between now and then on that app. I'll update you on what I've done in the course. Maybe a tutorial on how to do web requests. I don't know. We'll see next week and on iDev Journey episode 18. And until then, have a good one.